Okay, hello everyone. Today we are going to review the Catex Pinup, this camera over here. This is the same camera as the Insta360 GO 2, but with different accessories. Uh, it's uh, also much cheaper. And what is very interesting about this camera is that it's uh, the accessories. It has um, this one, it's an adapter for the pin behind the camera and it outputs three cables, the red, the black and the white. The red is for the power, black is for ground and the white one, I hope it will simulate the button press to start and stop recording. So the other accessories is the USB Type-C adapter here where it also connects to the back of the camera and we will find out um, which pins here connects to the power, ground and the RX text of the UFC Type-C. So that we can use it for other purposes like I'm planning to create like a selfie stick with using this GoPro 3-way. So I'm going to put the camera on the top here and run a cable to the bottom here and have a button here to start and stop recording and I will put like a power bank or maybe a 2 or 3S battery here that will power the Cadex um, peanut so it will not run out of juice. I have tested the Cadex peanut for several days already and I noticed that the memory, um, the 28 gigabyte something memory is enough but the battery is the one that's causing the problem. The battery runs for only about like 20 minutes and then we have to recharge it. So if you have the possibility to always charge it using power bank or uh, FPV drone battery, I think this will be a lot more useful. Maybe it will last for one day if the memory is enough, so the power should not problem anymore. So let's start with the, this accessories here over here. We will see uh, which pins connect to which cable. Okay, continuity test. First one, we are going to check the red cable. When we hear the beep, we will know which part of it is the correct one. I will zoom a little bit. Okay, this is the red cable. And this is the one. So three from the top is the power pin. And for the black cable, this is the black cable and let's see so, so it's also three to the left it's the ground and then for the white cable so for the white cable none of the pins uh, output some beeping I'll change this one to measure the resistance so this one give something the other one does not so this one this should be the one so it's outputting something like 100 ohms so maybe it's a safety resistor so it doesn't get shorted when we connect uh, to the power source now we will try to power the get a spin up using this adapter and, and a power bank. I've prepared the cable here, a USB cable and this is just the power cable so it only has two cables, the red and the black one for power and ground. I will connect the red to the red one. And black to black. And then I will try to start and stop recording by connecting the white cable to the red one. Or maybe I will try it with the black one first. So if it doesn't do anything, I will connect it to the red one. Then I will connect this one to the power bank. Okay, let's be careful not to short this cable. Okay, and then I'm connecting this adapter to the Kadek pinup. See, it's charging, so that's good. It's lighting red here. And then let's see if we can make it turn on the cording. I will try to connect it to the ground first. 
So it's doing nothing. So I will try to connect it to the right one. Okay. That's that did it. So it stopped recording now. Or maybe it's turning on, I don't know. So let's try to turn it off. So it seems like it's responding. So I think it's it was powering on and then it's now start recording in the on mode. So I will try to stop the recording. And then try to turn it off by connected it more for quite a while. Okay. Now it, it turned off. So I will try to connect it very shortly to simulate the single press button. Hmm, doesn't work. So it still goes to the standby mode. I will try to turn it off again. Okay, it's off now. Okay, maybe even shorter. Okay, now uh, that's new for me. I thought it will just simulate the button. So now I can connect it again to start recording, but it's recording in the standby mode type of things and I can stop it this way and I can turn it off oh no it's start recording again so I will just turn it off okay now it's off and then maybe I will try to connect it for a few seconds for like one second Hmm, it goes to standby mode again. Turn it off. Okay. Let's see. Just short one. Okay. I'm not very sure. I will check the recording to see which mode I'm in and whether it's recording or not. But usually when it's recording, it will blink. So this one is not blinking. No, now it's blinking, but in slow motion mode because I started on the configurations to be in slow motion mode when it's from standby mode. Turn it off and turn it off again. Okay, but at least um, we know that the white cable uh, goes to the power and it will do something with changing the mode like turning it on and off and and the charging works fine. Okay, the next thing we're going to do is we're going to check the the mode but for doing that we need a different cable because the one that i cut off this is type c and this only have two cables so i need to find another cable with four cables inside uh, two for the power and the ground and two for the rx and tx Okay, now I already got um, USB Type-C cable that has four cables inside. So it's um, red, black for the power and ground, and then there's a white and green. And I think it's for the TX and RX. So we're going to check which cable connects to which pin. Mm, this Type-C adapter from Cadex Pinot. Let's make sure about the red and black cable first. So this is the that cable again it should be the this one three from the top okay it's beeping and then make sure about the black cable the black cable should be this one three to the left okay confirm now the white cable there are still some pins left okay so white cable points to this pin and I think the green cable should be this one. Let's see. Green one. No. Wrong guess. No. Nothing. Okay, green cable. Hmm. Strange, maybe I have a faulty cable, or maybe it has some kind of uh, resistance. Check this with the ohm meter. 
This is strange. Hmm, okay. So the green cable is this one. Okay, my guess was right. So that concludes um, our experiment today. So the pin out for KDX Pnut and Insta360 Go 2 is like this. So this one is plus. This one is minus. This one is button. This one and this one is um, RX, DX or USB. So that left us with two more pins here that we still don't know what it is used for. I hope it's microphone. If it's microphone then we can make an external microphone solution for this tiny camera. Okay, this is all for the uh, our experiment today. I hope this is useful for you and if you have any questions on the, or if you plan any projects using the CADEX Peanut, let me know in the comment below. And if you are interested about uh, my project converting GoPro 3-way to be a selfie stick for Cardex Prenut with power bank or battery start-stop recording button, just let me know in the comment below and I'll make sure I make a video about it. Okay, thank you.